Greetings again and welcome to Patriot 6. On this channel I make tutorials on how to build or enhance scenery in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I recently had a YouTube viewer reach out to me and they had followed one of my videos on how to build your own custom airports but the YouTube user wanted to build a helipad instead of an airport. The YouTube viewer was unsuccessful. My goal is to see if I can find a workaround with the helipad issue that the viewer had. Prior to attempting to add a helipad, I did research, and in my research I found out the helipads must be connected to an airport. Unfortunately, you can't just place them anywhere in the world. They have to be connected to an airport. But I found a workaround. So with a little chicanery, I think we can get this done. I did run a test. The test worked okay, but I ran into a problem. This is a picture of the test I ran prior to starting to make this video. And as you can see, I got the helipad added, but you may notice some dark marks here. So when I started looking, I was confused. Why are these dark marks here. And then it occurred to me that the dark marks are there because I have a mod that enhances airports. This mod adds more rubber on the runway to make the airports look used. Unfortunately, the mod kicked in and put dark marks here near my helipad. Basically, this is going to be an experiment. I'm going to try something to see if I can get rid of the marks. So as I build the helipad, I'm going to experiment and see if I can get rid of these marks that are placed by the airport enhancement mod. So to get started, we want to go in developers mode, and that is options, general options, developer, on, apply and save. In full disclosure, I do not have any experience with helicopters. I do not fly helicopters. I did notice I had this small Velocicopter available to me in my aircraft liveries. So I selected this Velocicopter. This should be good enough to do the work. And now I'm going to find an airport near my location that I'm going to add the helipad. KMQY Smyrna is a good place to be, so I'm going to pick a parking spot for my Velocicopter, and I'm going to fly. Because we're in developer's mode, we have a new menu at the top left. I call this the developer's menu. So going to the developer's menu options, I want to pause the sim, and I'm going to hit fly. I'm going back up to the developer menu, camera, and developer camera. One thing I failed to mention is I recommend that you have clear skies and roughly midday. So I have clear skies and I'll move the time to roughly midday. And setting to midday, just make sure that you have enough daylight to do the work you want to do. And with the developer camera on, I'm now going to zip over to the location in which I'm going to build the helipad. I'm at TriStar Medical Center outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can see, in real life, there is a helipad. So I'm going to place a helipad here that hopefully we can use. To start off, I'm going up to the developer menu, tick on Tools, Project Editor, and Open. And now the project editor is open. You will also notice that I have an inspector up. And we need the inspector up. If your inspector does not come up, you could go down to the project editor, tick on view, and bring the inspector up. So the first step we want to do is start our project. So on the project editor, I want to hit project, new project, and this little box will come up, which I want to put a name in. The path up here is pointing to my temporary folder. You should always have a temporary folder on your desktop to add scenery. So if you don't have one, I would build one at this time. And then make sure the path is pointing to that folder. I'm going to give the project a name. This is simply giving the scenery folder a name. 
named it TriStar Medical Helipad. The hyphens will automatically be placed in where you have spaces. So because I had TriStar Space Medical, it put a hyphen in, and that's fine. So now I want to create the project, and our wizard comes up. I want to create an airport. I'm going to give the airport a display title, TriStar Medical Helipad, and I'm going to tick Next. And then the airport creation window comes up, and it asks if you want to override an existing airport, and it is pointing me to KMQY in Smyrna, the airport in which I parked my helicopter, and I do not want to override KMQY, so I'm going to tick Create an airport anywhere and I'm going to tick generate new ICAO so the new airport code has been generated and now I'm going to tick create airport after ticking create airport you will notice in the inspector that the information is there TriStar medical helipad and my creator name is in there because I have it set as a default. You can enter your creator name now, whatever you want to call yourself. And now I'm going down to the thumbnail and I'm going to add my thumbnail. You do need a thumbnail. And here is my thumbnail. By the way, it clearly states here that a 412 by 170 pixels is the mandatory size for a thumbnail. So make sure your thumbnail is 412 by 170 pixels. And with the thumbnail in place, the names and all the information in the inspector, I'm going to build package. The dialog box will pop up saying modifications detected. And of course, I'm going to tick yes and wait a few seconds until the package builds and it built that quickly. At this point in time, I'm going back up to the developer menu, window, remove the console. And now I'm going over to the project editor. My project is highlighted. I want to tick on my project. I want to reveal scenery BGL. I want to tick on scenery BGL. And you notice the inspector changed. So I want to go to the inspector and tick load in editor. Now once I tick load in editor, several windows pop up. If this is your first time, they may not pop up for you. Material editor I will use, but I'm going to temporarily move it out of the way. I have the objects window, the gizmo window, and the scenery editor. Once you choose load in editor, I do know the scenery editor will pop up. I'm not sure about the other two windows because I've been doing this a long time. But if the gizmo and the objects window do not pop up, you can go to the scenery editor, view, tick on objects, and tick on gizmo. Now in the objects window, I'm going up to object type, which is presently set on scenery. I'm going to tick on it and go down and find helipad and here's helipad so i want to select helipad i want to tick on medical because this is a medical helipad and i'm going to tick on add and the helipad appears so on the gizmo the gizmo gives you three different tools transmute rotate and scale Transmute obviously allows you to move your object around. Rotate is obvious and scale should be obvious. On the gizmo, I'm going to tick on rotate so I can rotate this helipad. I want to get it kind of square. And now I'm going to scale. The helipad is bigger than I want it to be because it comes out in the road and in the parking lot. I'm going to manually type in numbers to get the scale that I'm looking for. It's still too big. 
let's try dot six. And that looks pretty close. Maybe I'll rotate a little more to touch it up. Now down on the scenery editor, on view, I want to tick on properties. And the properties window pops up. You may notice in the properties window, we have a helipad and it is a medical helipad. And now I'm going to give it a name. The name I chose is TriStar Medical Helipad. And now I'm going back down to the scenery editor and I'm going to save the scenery. When I hit save scenery, you notice an error pops up. The error says this airport object is too far from the airport, KMQZ Smyrna. Hit OK. I'm going back up to the properties window, which is open. And you will see object test radius. I'm going to add nines in here until I get enough radius that it will work. I just tossed in three for the fun of it. And now I go back to save scenery and see if it works. And it did work. And now we have the helipad saved. And now this is where I'm going to use a little trickery. Since I mentioned that a helipad will only work on an airport, I'm going to do a little trickery and I'm going to create an airport. To do so, I need to go back up to the objects menu. I need to change from helipad to runway. And now I'm going to add a runway. And there is the runway. I'm going to the gizmo, set it to rotate, and rotate this runway. And now a little more trickery. I'm going to bring the material editor up. I'm going over to the scenery editor. I'm going to tick on properties. I want to make sure that I'm on the runway down on the scenery editor. The runway is selected and on the material editor I'm going down to a Sobo runway. I'm going to select runway grass. And when I go back to the properties menu I'm going to tick on materials and it says runway asphalt and once I tick on that, it should enter the runway grass that I selected. And it did. So I'll move the material editor out of the way. And now on the properties menu, I have selected grass with the hopes of not having the runway marks. Although I see them now, we'll just have to see how this turns out. I'm going to make the runway transparent. So tick on transparent. And now I want to make sure I'm ticked on the runway and I'm going to size this runway to make it small as possible. Also on the properties window, I want to give this runway a name. I'm going to use the same name I've been using all the way through. And now I'm going to save the scenery once again. On the properties window, I want to go to runway start. I want to tick on edit position. And when I do, it shows a runway start over here. So I want to move the runway start and get it as close to center on the helipad as possible. And that looks fairly centered. At this point, I can tick the properties off. I'm going to save the scenery. And now I'm going back up to do one more thing to make this a little easier to spot. I'm going to the objects window. I'm going to tick on landmark location. I'm going to add, and here's the landmark. I want to move it a little bit away from the helipad. Move it over here, say center of the hospital. I'm going back to properties. I'm going to give this landmark a name. I gave it the name TriStar Medical. 
I'm going to hit save scenery again. And now I'm going to remove the properties window. With everything built and hopefully will work, I'm going back over to the project editor. Make sure I'm not on scenery BGL and tick on the project. And the inspector should light up again and it does. And now I'm going to build the package. The package is built. I go back up to the developer menu window, tick off the console. And with the scenery saved and the package built, now I can tick off my tools. At this time, I'm going to open my temporary scenery folder. And I'm going to open my community folder. I want to locate my scenery folder in the temporary desktop scenery folder. And here it is, TriStar Medical Helipad. I'm going to open. I'm going to Packages. I'm going to tick on the package and copy. And with my community folder open, I'm going to paste. And now the package is in the community folder. I'm going to completely shut down the simulator and restart so that the simulator picks up the new package I added to the community folder. And now with Microsoft Simulator restarted, I'm going to go to the world map and see if I can find our heliport. There's our point of interest, TriStar Medical. I'm going to zoom in. And here is our heliport. I'm going to select it, set its departure, and fly. And as you can see, we have a working heliport. I don't see the dark marks, so apparently making the runway grass took care of the dark marks. Now if I want to be very picky, I can look and say, well, I could have been better centered. But now I think after doing this, I understand the problem. When I set my start position, I set the little center dot right here and the arrow was about here. It seems like I should put the arrow right here. But outside of that, everything is fine. The heliport works. We can spawn to the heliport and I'm certain we can fly to it. So this process does work and you can make a heliport away from an airport by creating your own airport and making the runway transparent. So I believe this project is a success. I hope those of you that want to build heliports got something from this and can use the information in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. There is a link to where you can reach out to me on Facebook if you want. But any problems or any questions you have, feel free to leave and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm pretty good at getting back to the comments. But then again, my channel is small. So a day could come when it gets a little harder to manage the comment. But as of now, I can manage those. So again, thank you for watching Patriot 6. I hope you can use this information. And please subscribe to the channel. And this is Patriot 6 signing off and I will see you shortly.